Good morning. Today is September 8, 2022. And this is a game where uh, I get careless. I mean, I did not lose, but I didn't win either. And let's take a uh, look real quick. However, three puzzles uh, in the beginning. First position is this one right here. The rook has just captured something on f5. What should white do? Alright, next move. The knight has just moved to c2, forking the queen and the rook. What should white do? All right, next move. The pawn has just moved forward to e4. What should white do? All right, so let's now examine the game. This is uh, basically standard opening move up to here and then uh, this is basically a very uh, standard opening move uh, for white. Uh, later on the pawn here will move forward here a uh, piece of move here knight goes here pawn goes here queen goes here and that's my standard opening move but basically, a lot of the move here, the, the knight, the bishop, the pawn, and the castling. Pretty standard first four move, in, or in this case, first five moves, because I sometimes I mix things up. Next move. And that's an unusual move, basically. Uh, best, the king, you know, like, they should castle here and they should have some kind of pawn shield over here or if the, or if the king want to castle over there on the queen side well the pawn's not there anymore and this is a weakness so I don't know what black is thinking obviously black is not too good so we'll see what happens next move and you look at the pawn striker here that's a very interesting pawn structure and look at the pieces that they're still on the back rank a hundred percent now if you look at my structures over here that's basically like everything's on the king side and there's nothing in here there's nothing on this outside over here so that's a very interesting position right there and this is going to be a very interesting game, no matter how you look at it. So I'm really glad I get to see it this way. Next move. And again, this is like trying to get the pawn chain. Now, I also have a good pawn chain over here, but there is a hole over here occupied by the knight. And as you can see, the knight cannot go anywhere over there. Everything's stuck up, which is fine if you are defending, but black has no attack so far. So far it's just a pawn chain. So very interesting. I probably, you know, would have uh, make a title to reflect something about this pawn structure, but I think there's something else that's better. So start attacking, start opening because I want to attack sometime. And there you go, that's one piece moving out. And basically this one is very hard to dislodge. I basically have to get a knight out or maybe a bishop out. Uh, excuse me, get the bishop to dislodge this knight over there, maybe going here. So that's very hard to dislodge. Next move. And that's, uh, no, that's not it. That's a free pawn. That's a mistake. I should not have done that. 
Anyway, I'm trying to dislock this net over here. In the meantime, Black is attacking my pistols. So, <coughs> next move. And basically, Black is attacking on two sides right here, right? So that's that's not a good thing. It needs to be unified. And right now I'm still in the defending mode. I'm trying to dislot this knight, and I'm not making any headway over there. So, so Black has uh, an easy time of attacking. Next move. This knight is not as potent as this knight over here. You can tell the bishops are in position. So it's not like my knight is very dangerous over there. It's it's just my way to basically distract black away from this position right here. So the, because the queen just got moved from there. So I guess that works. Next move. And let's see, of course I'll read the, the capture over here. And this is very interesting because, you know, I get several different positions. I can do a check here and this is solid. I can take the pawn there and black really doesn't have a really solid structure anymore. Uh, I mean, the queen is there, but really not a good striker for black, basically. Next move. Uh, and this is a mistake. This, this is a mistake. Uh, just That's not the best move because, like I said, you need pawns. <coughs> you need pawn in front of the king. So that's not the best move. Next move. And that's an uh, interesting question. Should I, you know, defend something uh, or what? So, so I take the queen because it was, but that's actually not a good move okay, either because you can see over there that the knight can move and fork the queen and rook anytime at once. So that's a bad move right there. I wouldn't make that move if I, uh, if I was, you know, fresh, uh, then I wouldn't make that move. If I, if I saw that, I wouldn't make that move. So, next move. And the knight did not go there. So here's the question, puzzle number one. The pawn, uh, wait a minute, no, no, that's not puzzle number one. This is puzzle number one. There you go. The Rook has just captured the pawn, and I do not understand why the knight just didn't fork the queen and rook over there. So, but what should white do over here in this case? Well, the thing about this is that I can go here, and then I can go here. Now, if the knight does want to fork, I can actually, you know, move it, move the queen here, and I can get a free rook over here, so not captures, not captures, check, uh, king move, and, and, oops, and rook capture, and I'm ahead, so, so that would be a good sequence. I did not do that though. So, so I moved the, <coughs> I moved the net immediately. So, oh well, I missed that. And again, threatening the rook and just capture. That's a multi-purpose move basically. Block and, and that's basically protects the king and attack the rook. But that's a mistake also. Because then the queen just push up over it and 
suddenly I have two things to worry about over here. So, yeah. <laughs> so suddenly, yeah, I got attacked this way and that way. And that's not good. So, yeah. and finally, the knight fox, the queen and rook. This is uh, puzzle number two. And the question, what should I do in this case? The answer is, well, I should just take the rook over here. Because if not takes the queen, bishop takes the uh, queen, not takes the rook, bishop takes the rook, and I'm up a whole rook, basically. So, so I should just do that. And I did not do that. I actually moved it. Queen over here. <laughs> yep. So basically, black chef the pawn and I take the knight. So again, mistakes by both, mistake from both sides. Basically, I just secure the knight over here, and the bishop is still protected. Still, still shield it from the queen, and I'm out knight. So, so that's <laughs> that's good for me though. But it could have gone the other way, very easily. Next move, and that's interesting because yes, the bishop cannot take the queen over here because you know because the bishop is pinned. The bishop is pinned right there. So, next move. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, the, the bishop is not pinned anymore, and I'm threatening both the queen and the rook. Big mistake from black. Capture, capture. And I'm up a rook. And it's still protected. I can take that though, so yes, I did that. Take that. And the king has just moved over there. What should I do? In this case, I'm totally winning. Okay, I'm, I'm totally winning. I'm up by two rooks over here. Uh, over here. Two rooks over here. Totally winning. What I should be doing is I should try to trade as much as possible. Take this one, take this one. Yeah. And try to do something. Now I can do it several different ways. I can basically move the queen here, protect the net and attack with the rook. Or I can go here, move the queen here. And suddenly the queen has to do something because if the queen or the king has to do something because this is fixed. If black does not do that, if black does something like this for example, I can just do a check and suddenly the queen is lost. So the queen is lost, just go there. So, so the queen has to do something. So this is a very powerful move right here. Very powerful move. But I did this, which is not as powerful as the other one. Not as aggressive. And this is a puzzle. The, the puzzle that's uh, supposed to be the third one, but I mistake it with this one, right? Yeah, I did mistake it this one. So this is the third puzzle over here. Uh, Point just move over there, and of course that's turning the rook there. I mean, well, what can I say? Yeah. Yep, <laughs> totally mistake there, and that was a surprise. Didn't see that. Didn't see that at all. And of course I should have just taken that one over here because. There's no way, you know, black can stop that from promotion. Nope, 
as you that wrong. And I should have just taken that one over there. Like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> like, what's wrong with me? Hmm. And there you go. And this is again not a mistake over here. Uh, this one is a mistake, right? Mistake about black. Once I do this, that's it. Luck. Like, this is pin. Even if the king goes here, I can just take it. I'm still up. A queen and a rook. This is totally winning position for white. And that's one, that's two, and that's mid. Totally winning position for white. <laughs> so, I did that. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. So, take that one. Uh, and what do you know? The queen that was protected by that pawn over there just get recaptured for nothing. And then I get over here, get captured over here. So, nope. And after that, this is boring really, basically, because bishop and rook ending is very tricky. So, Bishop and Rook and is very tricky, so basically cannot do anything and draw. So I had a totally winning position for white and I just blundered it away. And that's too bad. Oh well. <laughs> and I was so upset, you know, like I just keep missing things. And even now I'm missing things like different puzzle screens, different puzzle position. I'm missing those two also. So, I'm not happy. But I do hope you enjoy it. That's it for today. And I thank you for watching. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.